This week, I take a ride on a bus that reckons it's like a private jet on wheels. But what's it really like taking America's most luxurious bus route? This week, I find out as I take a ride with Von Lane from Houston to Dallas. Welcome to downtown Houston, a place that despite having lived nearby for over a year now, I've only actually been to once before. Not least because Houston is literally the size of England. It's like 100 miles, seriously, from one side of the city to the other. But also, I've not really had any course to because everything is just handy where I live out in the sticks in the little town I'm in but I've had to come here today because I'm taking a bus from Houston yes a bus yay um, and it leaves from just around the corner now traditionally as you might know if you've been following this channel for a while now I don't have the best look when it comes to buses be it either getting stuck on Greyhound buses for days at a time here or overnight sleeper buses in India I don't have a very good track record with buses but I am confident that it's going to be a good trip today because the bus I'm taking today is a bus that's apparently like a private jet when you get on board a private jet on wheels that travels the length of Texas from here in Houston up to Dallas. One lane operates three routes in Texas connecting Houston with Austin and Dallas as well as routes out of Atlanta, Georgia. They claim to provide a private jet service for just $99 each way which seems like a bargain considering even an airline flight is usually a lot more than that. In Houston, Von Lane leave from outside the Hyatt Regency in downtown Houston, a nice change from the scary Greyhound stations I had to sit in during my last bus video. Before long a few passengers had turned up and it was time to get on board for our four hour ride up to Dallas. How you doing babe, sir? Okay, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Pretty good, thank you for asking all. Alright, so you get 7C. Lovely, thank you. So here we go then, time to get on board the Von Lane bus and while not quite looking like the private jet it was promised, it was still pretty nice. There's leather seats and a lovely wood effect floor with mood lighting that remind me a little bit of the Heathrow Express. The seats are in a 1-2 configuration and they've all got a lot of legroom with this bus having just six rows of seats. Right then, so welcome on board the Von Lane first class bus up to Dallas from here in downtown Houston. It's about a 250 mile drive all the way up the interstate from here to Dallas. It's a, it's a long way. Um, it's quite a nice bus actually. Got quite a lot of legroom here. Comfortable leather seats. It's in a sort of 2-1 configuration. Then we've got like even a like a conference table thing there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? We've got seat controls and everything and a bottle of water. It, it's quite comfy. I've been looking forward to this bus ride for ages. So I'm really excited to get on the road and see what it's like. Aside from the comfy seats, every row has an overhead console with individual air vents, reading lights and a call button for the attendant. Yes, that's right, Von Lane have an attendant on every journey to bring food and drinks to your seat. Before too long, the clock ticked to our departure time of 2pm and right on time we got on the road for our trip to Dallas. As we rolled out of downtown Houston, a safety video was played on the overhead monitors. The trip to Dallas is about 250 miles and usually takes about four hours by road. But unfortunately, despite these being two of the biggest cities in America and them being so close together by American standards at least, getting between them on public transport is near on impossible. There's no train between the two cities, not even on Amtrak, and whilst a few bus companies operate on the route, it still takes several hours to get between the two. Flying's the easiest way from A to B until you remember that A is an hour outside of downtown Houston in traffic and B is an hour from downtown Dallas. By the time you've got to the airports and checked in then driven again at the other end, it's still a four hour trip. A high speed train line's been in the works for several years which claims to be able to connect Dallas and Houston in just 90 minutes but construction hasn't even started yet and it's likely at a minimum of several years away if it ever happens at all. Not long after we left, the cabin attendant came round with drinks and some snacks, which is something that you definitely don't get on the Greyhound. Handily, you do get a tray table, which is literally a tray. It sort of sits on your lap and I never did manage to get the hang of it, so I just ended up sitting chewing on my nuts. I did spot a couple of power outlets down the side of the seat as well, as well as a cup holder where my bottle of water had been left. Sometimes you get hot food service on board as well. They do meals at breakfast time and dinner time. This is a sort of mid-afternoon service, so we're just getting snacks and they're bringing them round 
every sort of 30 minutes or so is pretty cool and we get free drinks as well on this service which is quite nice as well. Now the food and drink service did seem a little bit basic considering that they're selling this as a private jet type service but I guess if you remember you probably wouldn't get anything at all on the short hour long flight up to Dallas. It's probably not so much of a stark difference. I would like to try taking this bus service at breakfast or dinner time though to see what the meal service is like when they do it properly. I headed to the back of the bus to check out the kitchen area which has a coffee machine and a variety of snacks but the thing I really wanted to check out down here was the loo. And what a loo it was. The bathroom reminded me more of something in a hotel room than it would be on a bus, especially if you compare it to the sort of bathrooms you get on a Greyhound bus. This thing was just absolutely incredible. This is a bus. Back at my seat and we continued our journey northward along the I-45. At four hours long and with the amenities you get on board the Von Lane, you really don't need to stop for a rest stop, but it might have been nice to get the opportunity to stretch our legs at some point along the route. Now one thing I've come to love on Texas road trips is a good bookies and the one at Madisonville is about halfway to Dallas. We've stopped there a few times, but sadly there were no brisket sandwiches to be had today. For that I'd have to wait until Dallas. Now as much as I really love living in Texas, the scenery doesn't really tend to change that quickly. The road up to Dallas passes small towns with numerous signs trying to outcompete each other on height like skyscrapers, the occasional place where people worship cowboys, and of course the odd bookies. Other than that, it's a good job the bus has free Wi-Fi to keep you entertained. Unless of course you're on the bus I was on and the Wi-Fi wasn't working. At least on a bus though you can Netflix and chill using your mobile data, as long as you've got a phone signal that is. And while I was in the middle of Netflixing and chilling on the back row of the bus, the attendant brought round a handy hot towel to freshen up, which could mean only one thing. We weren't far off arriving into Dallas. Feeling like J.R. Ewing cruising into town, the Dallas skyline soon appeared on the horizon and we wound through the streets of Dallas. Now, unlike the Houston end of the trip, the Dallas end actually takes you to an airport, or at least next door to one, at Love Field. The downside of this is that Love Field is nowhere near downtown Dallas, which seems a bit of an issue for a service claiming to go from downtown to downtown. Now, downtown Dallas is a seven mile drive away from Love Field and stopping at an airport hotel means even then you have to grab an Uber or an airport shuttle to take you anywhere other than the hotel. Now, while it's handy for people with flights out of Love Field, I guess it's a slight flaw in the plan and I can't help but wonder if it might be better serving downtown Dallas or at least somewhere a little bit more centrally located. But either way, we were soon pulling into the Doubletree Hotel at Love Field, and better still, we were 20 minutes early. Alright, thank you very much. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Ooh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Don't be in here. Thankfully for me, my destination was the Doubletree Hotel, and I headed straight inside to check in. The Love Field Double Tree is pretty swanky when you get inside. It's almost like it's been renovated recently. Hi there, how are you? Hey. Can I check in, please? Yes. You well. Thank you, yes. Perfect. Thank you Thank so you. much. So where are you from? What is it? Uh, originally Houston. UK, but oh, I live in really? Houston now. So, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, uh, my boss is from there as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where else? North Walsham. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've lived here for about a year now, just really? up to a year, so oh, wow. yeah, so not lost very, the accent oh, just yet. Oh, so very recent, okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> How many room keys do you need? Just one, please. Okay, and then you're a gold member, so you get the option of either doing a food and beverage credit or you can do a thousand points. Uh, which um, one would you prefer to do? Well, do the, can we do the food and beverage? The food and beverage? Okay, yeah. is it just you or will there be It'll another? Just be for me, yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's on the corner of the rack. All right, thank you. Oh, Have a good one. Alright then, welcome to Dallas. Love Field. This is the Double Tree, which is very handy because it's right where the Von Lane bus stops here in Dallas. It is now 5.54 in the afternoon. We were due to be arriving at 6 o'clock, so we're on time, which has been really cool. I really enjoyed that little ride up with the Von Lane private jet bus. That was pretty cool. Wasn't it? I'm just going to have a look what my view is like out of the window because we are at an airport after all. Oh, and we do have a nice view there. The sun's setting over the runway here 
that love field. But let's have a little look around this room here that we've got. So we've obviously got the bed and everything in here. Very spacious, very bright and airy. Um, and then we've got a nice bathroom as well with a nice shower and a big fancy light thing and me. Um, let me know down in the comments what you thought of Von Lane. I really enjoyed that service, actually. They operate routes all over Texas, and I might use them again. I don't know. Very, very convenient, especially if you're going downtown to downtown. I'm off to get some rest, so thank you so much for watching. As always, take care, be kind to one another, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.